Hey everybody, welcome back on board. So it's that time once again to have a look and break down the latest teaser of Sea of Thieves Season 4. Let's go! Immediately, we're introduced to what looks like a spruced up message in a bottle. Let's be honest, when you're sailing with your mates and you, by mistake, pick a message in a bottle up, because let's be honest, nobody does it deliberately. You openly apologise after doing so. However, this message in a bottle looks tantalising. It looks interesting and attractive. As we can see, it's smothered in barnacles, so I imagine it's going to be leading us into those murky waters below. A forgotten world of adventure. You are right there, Gil. The narrator here sounds rather aroused. This must be one damn good forgotten adventure. Now, I was a very big fan of the Sunken Kingdom within the A Pirate's Life update. It was super vibrant, very refreshing and unique, so I can see why she's aroused. Moving on. Okay, so a lot to unpack with this portion here as we have a wealth of new items to observe. The most obvious being the potion that so many of us have speculated in the past may well give us temporary gills a lot like Kevin Costner in Waterworld, giving us the ability to submerge underwater for a much longer period of time than we usually can. As well, other commodities being found that I imagine will fetch a pretty penny to the Merchant Alliance. Here we have a small box of coffee. The one at the back kind of resembles that of a chili, I think? I took a screen capture into Photoshop and I couldn't really work out what these two were at all. However, it's nice to know we have a few more commodities around to uh, keep our eyes peeled for. We also have a handful of vibrant looking chests. This one at the back, I imagine being worth a little more than the others. Notice the three red spikes sticking out above the skull? Maybe this is a Siren Queen chest, as the spikes themselves remind me of a crown. Are we being introduced to a Siren Kingdom fort? I also had an idea that a Siren Kingdom dungeon would be pretty cool. What with us now having instanced areas at hand with the introduction of portals, that could easily make this sort of activity a reality. I'll save that for another video though. We also have Siren Tainted skulls littered around the deck, so can we expect skeleton enemies below? Crew members from ships that were dragged down to the seabed and now live an immortal life as undead slaves to the Siren Kingdom. Sounds pretty cool if you ask me. Nevertheless, the vibrance of the loot is a beautiful change and I am very much welcome it myself. Can we take a moment and please admire this rather unique but cool looking cosmetic right here? I'm not quite sure what this getup's representing of, but it feels rather telling. Captain Falco's Captain Hook theory seems rather plausible, seeing as the devs at Sea of Thieves aren't shy from using items to foreshadow things that are to come in the future. If you're not sure what I'm referencing, I'll leave a link in the description of Captain Falco's video. It's a corker as always. The Sunken Sorrow ship set is shown in all its... <coughs> Wonderful glory. And here we pan south of Sharkbait Cove and are introduced, or at least teased, of what looks like an ancient monument that seems to have been ravaged by the typical coral we associate with the sirens. A few points of interest, we have what looks like a well-like entrance immediately in front of us. Whether this is something similar to the vault-like entrances we find in the Shores of Gold is up for discussion or until we find out upon release, but I'm hoping we have a full trailer soon that can maybe shed more light. And of course, it goes without mentioning the ancient-like monument towering above us. It's been a little while since I've visited the Shores of Gold, so I can't quite say whether I've seen this face already, but it doesn't strike me in a way that I recognise it. And of course, the release date. A week this Thursday, September 23rd, and we'll be able to discover what secrets lie beneath ourselves. So what are your thoughts on the small teaser we've been introduced to? Did you notice anything I didn't point out? Leave them in the comment section down below or join us in our Discord chat, Sea of Theories. You can find the link in the description. I'd love to see you there. This is only a quick video as I've knocked this up in quite literally the space of an hour since coming home from work. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's given you a small insight into some things you might not have seen yourselves. But otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, why not leave a like and leave a comment to let me know. And if you do fancy hanging around, maybe click the subscribe button. If you fancy watching me on Twitch from time to time, you can also find my Twitch link in the description or the comments section down below. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.